yo, yo. What is up, YouTube? This is Josh, and this is Mercedes, and today we're going to be bringing you another episode of the Digital Desert Podcast. Halloween edition. Make an evil laugh. <laughs> Why are you making evil laughs? Because it's Halloween. We got a uh, packed show for you guys. We're going to be doing Halloween plans for all of you trick-or-treaters. That's what I'm doing. Uh, we're going to be doing questions, spooky questions. We're going to be doing Guess That Game. And it's a scary game because, I mean, it's Halloween, right? Then we're going to be doing a Halloween is Unpopular. Maybe, possibly. We'll get into that. Uh, pumpkin Spice Everything and the favorite part about Halloween. So uh, let's jump right into it with Halloween plans. What are you doing, Mercedes? Nothing. <laughs> nothing, okay. <laughs> Can you uh, can you kind of indulge us? What what exactly are you doing with nothing? I'm gonna be answering doors. Answering? Wait, what? What, what are you? With? <laughs> <laughs> what are you? Wait, are you gonna be doing? I mean, are you gonna be with trick or treaters? I'm gonna be answering the door, and when the trick or treaters ask me for candy, I'm gonna steal their baskets and be like. <laughs> Okay, first off, uh, I don't think anyone's going to be trick-or-treating in our neighborhood. <laughs> I don't think it's the best place to bring your children. Uh, yeah, we live in uh, Tempe. If you guys are from Arizona, yeah, you kind of know what I'm saying here. Um, my plans is since you have to do homework, I'm assuming, I get to go to Buckeye with my brother and my mom, and we're going to go trick-or-treating for the first time in like five years. Sounds pretty cool, huh? Bet you wish you can do that. <laughs> but do you know what you really wish you could do? What? Guess what I'm about to say next. You're Just ugly. take a guess. <laughs> Any guess that I'm ugly, uh, I'm gonna have to disagree. And I'm gonna say we're playing questions from a hat. Oh, did you hear that? What was that? Spooky sound effects, that's what that was. What if I told you under this hat? Questions taped to the inside. Oh my goodness. What the hell is that man? <laughs> Sounds like they're to deprive the food. No. This is supposed to be ghost sounds. I think it's more like uh, sad whale sounds, but <laughs> anyway, I have questions for us to answer. You didn't see this coming, did you? No. While you were doing homework, I planned this show accordingly. So, we're going to take the Ziploc baggie full of poorly constructed pieces of paper with questions on them and we're going to ask each other deepest, darkest questions. So, let's begin. I'll pick one. Ah! <laughs> I was hoping that you would do Yeah, yeah, that's, that's you in a second Please if you don't answer this empty. correctly. All right. Oh, perfect. What is the most embarrassing moment this week? That should be for you. Uh, embarrassing moment? Yeah, what what happened that was like, ah, oh, come on, bro. Oh, that I know happened. what happened. Okay, all right. Share, share, share. <laughs> so, I was in the tutoring center. Oh, and... my God. Is this the Asian kid with the dime? No. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. I was, this happened, I don't know if this week or last week. I don't remember, but okay, I was ahead. in the tutoring center, and I went to a review session for... Ochem 2 because I had an exam. Okay, an exam the day after and my my like professor I guess. Yeah. Um was talking about like orbitals and stuff. Keep it simple, brother. Okay, anyways. <laughs> so the topic came up as to why I didn't like Gen Chem. And I told him I had very crappy teachers and I hated their guts. Okay. <laughs> That's embarrassing. And I told him that the teachers were really bad at teaching. And he was a teacher. No. Oh, okay. And then he asked me, oh, where'd you take the course at? And I was like, oh, at a Shreya Mountain Community College. He's like, what teacher did you have? I was like, oh, let me remember. It starts with the L. And he's like, was it Levi? And he's like, that's my dad. Said, no. And I was like, yeah, he really sucked. <laughs> He was like, that's actually one of my good friends. Oh. And I can hear him. You know, that is funny that you mentioned that. Wait. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I didn't hear him say that, and I just kept ranting. And 
the people next to me were like laughing like crazy because they heard him say that they were it was like a close friend of his and I just kept talking crap I was like well this teacher does this blah 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 hated this class okay we and don't have to go on for and then a they year finally about it. told me <laughs> Jesus they finally, I finally figured out that why they were laughing I was like why are you guys laughing and they're like because that's one of his good friends and yes. I, I felt really embarrassed Okay. And well, then he told he told me he was gonna tell him. I was like, dang. Okay. okay. Good story. We don't have to go on forever. Okay. Yes, we do. I no, we do not me. because this is supposed to be a concise thirty-minute podcast, not a thirty-hour podcast. Thank you for joining us. No one's gonna watch this anyways. Oh, well. Excuse <laughs> you, you jerk. Now you get to pull something out of the bag. Don't look. Just jiggle it around. Pick one that you want to hear. My witchy senses. Tell me to You just literally looked at him, didn't you? No, I did not. Okay, Tell don't me to crumble. pick the cat version. Uh, the cat version. Why is this such a gay question? Have okay. you ever committed a crime? Have I ever committed a crime? Actually, I did. You're bandit. What? You're a bandit. Oh, yeah, I'm a bandit, so... Yeehaw, I commit many crimes. Ahaha! No, here's the, <laughs> here's the crime I committed when I was little. There was a bike at my apartment, right? You stole it. I didn't steal it, per se. It was a little bit... Oh, yeah, by the way, we got our skeleton friend who keeps touching my hat, and I'm wondering what the hell that feeling is. I keep feeling something scratch me. Oh, jeez. All right, so, anyway. Crime I've committed, so... It was just chilling there, right? So me and my friend decided to take a little bike joyride. We returned it, but the parents saw us, and I got a knock on the door by my, by my police, by the police. And that's my story. How do you feel about someone else stealing your bike? I didn't steal it. We <laughs> borrowed it because it was unattended, and we returned it in its original. What if condition. someone borrowed your truck bike? Uh, I would be pretty pissed, but I was back. also like, I was probably like ten. I wasn't thinking, okay. Alright, here's my question. If you... Oh, my handwriting, Jesus. If you could make a wish, what would it be? Surgeon! Surgeon. So you want to be a surgeon. You don't even have to do any work, you're just a surgeon. Yes. Oh, if you guys ever so break a bone... So I can harvest the blood. Oh, jeez. We got <laughs> Dracula over here. Hey, Halloween! Right, right, right. Yes, you're for too. my frogs. For your frogs? Frogs! <laughs> Oh, frogs. Dummy. All right. All right, what does that say? <laughs> I wonder if you can do that. Um, Dummy. What is the question? Pumpkin spice or pumpkin rice? Pumpkin spice or pumpkin rice? Why did I write that? <laughs> now that I come to I think don't about know. It. Okay. Um, I'm going to say pumpkin rice. What is pumpkin rice? I wanted something that rhymed with spice, <laughs> and I was like eating rice at the moment. You, you saw me eat my rice with sriracha. Well, oh I think pumpkin rice would be great because you have the nutritional value of rice, filling, and it's pumpkin flavored. That tells wow. terrible. So does your face. Are you gonna put sriracha on that? <laughs> yes, yeah, sriracha pumpkin rice. But pumpkin spice is just spice. I'm gonna sit there eating dried spice. Not gonna happen. All right, we only have two more questions, so here we go. Uh, what is your greatest fear? That's for you. Not becoming a surgeon. Not becoming a surgeon. Okay, what's your real greatest fear? Heights. I am heights. afraid of heights. That is so true because and even though I can fly, remember you when we went me. to the uh, Arizona State Fair? And we went on the Ferris wheel, which is admittedly a little tall, but you were like, oh, I don't want to do this, I can't do this. I know. Yeah, and I was kind of embarrassed because you're you such a You should have seen lap. me when I flew on a plane. I was like... I flew a plane, by the way, for the first time like in a while. Like that, for a long time. The entire ride, I was holding Dude, on I to loved, my dear life. I loved the plane. The takeoff was great. I felt like I was... Uh, I, I liked was the like, landing because we were getting off. <laughs> I liked takeoff because it was like... You just suddenly go oh, back. Oh, heck no. It's I so did not cool. like that feeling. I started oh, to cry. By the way, if you guys haven't noticed, we have a cool candle over here. And we also That's have a... Our house. And an incense. Spooky incense, I guess. I don't know. All right. You picked the last question. Which one would you pick? I don't know. Bites, snakes, or spiders? What kind of questions are these? Fight. You? Snakes or spiders? Well, I'm going to say snakes. You're dumb. Because spiders... 
are really scary. And they're small, and they pack a lot of venom. Well, certain ones do. In this situation, we'll just say they're all Black Widows. How are you going to see them with a snake? You could feel around, grab them by the tail, flip them around, throw them. But what are you going to do with a spider? It's just going to crawl on you and then get bit. What about you? Oh, I'd rather battle a spider. No, 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 not spiders. Spiders and snakes. Uh, like a big, giant, groupie of spiders. Smash the spiders! But there's so many. And? What if there's so many snakes? What are you going to do? They're going to freaking... No, they're not boa constrictors. This is Halloween. They're blood-sucking antelopes. They're going to suck your blood. Snakes. Oh, yeah, you're right. No. Oh, what's this? Oh, an extra question? Oh, who is George and why do you always text him? I wonder where that question came from. Who is George? Yeah, who's George? I don't know who George is. Yeah, sure you don't know who George is. I know who George is. Who? That's what she said. Your mom. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm no, like, but, who is George? Yeah, no, I just I made that question up because why not? You want to make me look weird. Yeah, that is true. I wanted to make you look like a fool, but I look like a fool. And you know because what else? Because you're wrong. You know who else is a fool? Yeah. Whoever doesn't get this game. So we're going to go ahead and pause our background music because, well, I'm going to have you guess a game. And you're not going to look at the screen and try to figure out what game it is. You're just going to listen. Really? really? You looked at it. Wow, way to pull back the curtain. Yeah, yeah, thanks. No. Guess what this game is, and it's not what it is up there, what it says. <laughs> My Listen to the music! Or I mean the, the, the I game clip. Do you know that game? I do, but I don't know the name. Are you sure? You can't just think of it. What, what, what do you think it is? Just throw out a wild guess. It is horror game-ish, so you get to decide what you think it is. It's probably something I know. Uh, it is. Oh, you have played it. Is that your final guess? Yes. Oh. Correct. That is wrong. I knew you would get it wrong. Oh, I either thought I, I knew that. you would get it wrong, and I was so... I, I, I knew it. I just knew it. I was so sure of it, in fact, that I didn't even load up the soundboard to have the ding correct answer. I loaded only the wrong buzzer because I figured you wouldn't get it. Wow. That's how confident. No, it is Left 4 Dead 2. And you've played that game. And oh. Jacob plays it all the time and he knows he knows he loves it. He plays it. <laughs> Hi Jacob! <laughs> yeah, I'm sure Jacob's watching this. Uh, big shout out to anyone who's watching Hi, this Jacob. Halloween Goodbye. Halloween special. Love you guys, love you subscribers. And you know who else we love? I only love Jacob. You know who else we love? My brother. Our sponsor. Check it out. Big Lip Radio. Here's our sponsor. Do you want to see more of Slay Zombie's perfectly proportioned face? But you're tired of his poorly edited videos like this one? This fucking show sucks. This is why nobody wants to watch. <laughs> then you need to check out Big Lip Radio, where Slay Zombie gets to sit in with show host Zach. Put a dick in your mouth. Does that make you gay? And Big Papa J. In my generation, we have to dress for boners. We talk about gaming, wrestling, hot chicks, secret government conspiracies, and more. Live every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Mountain Time. You won't want to miss this. And welcome back to the Digital Desert Podcast. The rest of the show is going to be about Halloween-related topics. And this guy in his weird face. Uh, we're going to be talking about why is Halloween unpopular? <laughs> Pumpkin spice... <laughs> Jesus Christ. Pumpkin spice everything. Everything's pumpkin spice. Oh and my God. we're going to close it out with, with your favorite part about Halloween. Alright, so let me ask you something. Is it just me? Or has Halloween become kind of like, eh, in the past years? Like, well, you know, you got your trick-or-treating, but doesn't it seem like it's not really a thing anymore? Hold up! Okay. First of all... We got an opinion here. You are a grown... Beep... Man! And that doesn't mean I can't celebrate Halloween. Okay, let me ask, how about, let me rephrase the question. 
kids that are trick-or-treating doesn't it seem like they're going out earlier getting home way earlier and there's that not, is very true there's not as many out there what? well if people what? stop killing people at night then maybe we can go out uh, and the okay hold on Let, hold the phone on that i don't think it's that big of a deal okay what i think is happening oh uh, people don't kill people is that no i don't think it's like suddenly everyone's killing each other on halloween but listen no i think in general in general yeah at night I mean, well, there's, people die there's at night. kids that are out and about that are easy targets. Okay, but you have your, their parents with them. Okay, how about, how, how, how about when we were kids? When we were kids, I felt safe. Okay, and it's still safe. So no. how about you just hold whatever you're trying to say because you're probably going to bring up some BS point. But anyway, listen. When I was a delivery driver for Domino's, mm -hmm. right, I remember my first Halloween working. I would have to dodge children in my car. There were so many. They would jump around. Oh yeah, let's go to this house, boo. Come on, man, let's just cross the road, man. And I'm driving through the neighborhood, slamming my brakes. I used my brakes more that day than I have in my entire life. That's a hyperbole, but listen. Every year since then, and I think I've started about 2016, it's just gotten more and more stale. My second year driving, less kids out, right? 30 or driving, not only was there less kids out, but there was also just a lack of kids late at night. Like everyone was done trick-or-treating before the sun even set. What's up with that? What do you think? Do you think that's true? Yeah. I don't even have to avoid kids anymore when I'm driving in Halloween. All I have to do is just go through a neighborhood like normal. There's no one out there. It's dead. I feel like this generation is like they just don't care, right? They don't care, and they're growing out of it earlier. I, I think that I is feel. true. And they're inside, playing Fortnite. They, yeah, they Death feel Death like Death. they are grown. You know how kids are dressing these days when they're like 12? Yeah. They really feel grown. Once they turn 13, they're like, wow, I'm a teenager. Yeah, right? Well, let me I'm, bring up this article for you. I'm too okay? old for this. Here's an article that's saying, where are all the trick-or-treaters? Trick-or-treating isn't what it used to be. This article basically goes on saying that uh, the tradition of going door to door demanding candy is not quite it, quite what it used to be for many U.S. families. Over the past couple of years, low turnout in neighborhoods has led people to wonder whether trick or treating is dying. I agree. I think it's dying, and we should really work to keep it alive. It's one of the holidays of the year where you go out and you just enjoy yourself. Just. Do whatever you want. You can have like little, yeah. little ha 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 tricks, you know. It's the one whatever. day you're allowed to eat a billion pounds tons of candy. Of exactly. Candy. So who wouldn't want that? Come on. This is give yourself cavities. This is Christina Wingard, a 30-year-old stay-at-home mom. We have tons of kids in our neighborhood. Our lights are on, and we have jack-o'-lanterns out, and nobody really comes to our door. Isn't that weird? I heard, based from this article that many people are now taking their kids trick-or-treating to businesses. They are going to events where they give candy to the kids rather than going around neighborhoods. I think that has uh, some truth to it. You know like those giant events in like big parks where it's like yeah. Halloween party. I feel like it's less about houses now and more about parties or events or gatherings, which isn't bad, but it's still kind of it it's kinda, not the traditional. Yeah, it kind of sucks, you know? It's been going on for decades, and then all of a sudden it's just changing form. I don't know. We're, we're just old men. We don't we don't really like change, apparently. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. So so what, what do you think? Do you think we should uh, accept the change, or should we just force kids to go out to strangers' doors and hopefully not get kidnapped? I honestly feel like we should go trick-or-treating. I feel like the event should be before... Halloween, like the day before, so that people can actually trick. Yeah, like a little party, you know, and yeah. then Halloween night is like for trick or treat. To make it more. Kind of like a like Christmas Eve. Variety. Of Christmas Eve, you have events. your Christmas dinner, maybe whatever, yeah, and exactly. then Christmas Day is like presents. Halloween Eve. Presents. You know what's funny? Halloween is All Hallows Eve, so it would be the eve of an eve of a holiday. <laughs> if we were to do Halloween Eve, funny enough. I think we should. But. We're going to move on to the next topic, because this one really grinds my gears. This is Pumpkin Spice Everything. And 
what brought this up is, haven't you noticed around this time, let's say September, right? Yeah. September is anything that exists, slap pumpkin spice in the name and resell it. Am I right? Yes. I just don't, I don't get it. What is so good about pumpkin spice? It, you don't it, it's get like, it because it's kinda you're good. crazy. It's like, yeah, it's pumpkin, right? It's pumpkin. Pumpkin but, spice gets you in the spirit, man. Okay, when no. I see, When I see pumpkin spice latte, pumpkin spiced iced tea. We got ourselves tea, a white coffee. girl here, typical middle class white girl. Stereotype. You are stereotype. Do you look white? Uh, almost whiter than me in this lighting. So yes, you look pretty white. But I am not white. Okay, you're Asian yellow. So we'll go. Oh. <laughs> no. I'm gonna pull up Just 65. Shot. Cut it. Pumpkin spice foods. 65 pumpkin spice foods that have no business being pumpkin spice. Jeez. 65 of them. So we're gonna go through just a little bit of them, right? All right, we got ourselves currently available. That sounds good. Pumpkin spice yogurt pretzels. This guy's crazy. That's that's freaking bomb. How do you even get pumpkin yogurt? That's kind of weird. I don't know. How do you get chocolate yogurt? Pumpkin smash smoothie. You're telling me you want a fruit smoothie that's water based with pumpkin? First of all, that's probably not fruit. Second of all, John probably is, is known bomb. for fruit smoothies. Okay. I'm telling you, this is gonna be water based. Smoothie with Doesn't pumpkin. mean it can't taste good. I don't know, dude. That's kind of weird. Pumpkin spice Cheerios, that actually sounds pretty good. That, I would I, say, takes I that feel like I have had that, honestly. I, feel I would like not I eat that. that. All right, well, what's next? Oh, what, right here. You ever had pumpkin spice protein power for getting okay, ripped? that's gross. I mean, come on. You're working out. It's like, oh, let me get my pumpkin spice. Oh, yeah. like 800 pounds. Okay, there's certain things that should be pumpkin spice versus certain things that should I think there shouldn't be a lot of things that are pumpkin spice. Pumpkin pie ice cream, that sounds pretty okay, good. People okay, people Okay, these guys are haters with that one because that sounds pretty damn good. Pumpkin pie... The mm. pumpkin spice Debbie, little Debbie rolls? That sounds bomb! Oh, dude, I've had okay. them. I've had them. They are so good. Maybe I should join the pumpkin spice revolution. Yes, you should. Those are really Especially good. The I've tried those. So good. I love them. Let's see what else. Oh, okay, pumpkin spice. Uh, uh, oh, pumpkin spice Oreos. That's disgusting. Come on. That's pumpkin spice lard, basically. All right. <laughs> Spray on Sprite. Spray on spice. Uh, the dry me? spice. Look at that. You got you got cologne you gonna, seasoning. That's cologne or no no no. It, it, it acts like a cologne. It's spray on seasoning. That's actually kind of cool. I didn't even know that existed. It would smell okay, really nice. Okay. I like the set. Coffee mate, pumpkin, pumpkin spice. Okay, Coffee. that is really good. I've had it. Okay, yeah, that sounds good. Okay, I, I will give you that. Let's see what else we got. Chobani. Okay, maybe not the yogurt. Uh, yeah, kind bars. Oh, what the Jello? Fuck? I don't think pumpkin so. Pumpkin spice jello? I feel like that'd be very <clears throat> sugary. <clears throat> I feel like that would just be a poor choice of snack. Gross. All right, let's see. We're at number 25. That's oh, what the heck? Is that, I feel like that's a thing. Pumpkin sauce? No, that's not a thing. A apple pumpkin spice for apple kids. sauce. For kids, these like little drinks for kids. That yeah, you know those like, like squeezy, uh, squeezy. It's go, go, squeeze. Yeah, go, go, squeeze, a little squeeze apple. I mean, that's kind of weird to have pumpkins. Okay, what in the hell? Sparkling pumpkin spice beverage. Oh no. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Your hat fell. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Pumpkin spice, that's basically, uh, Champagne, pumpkin spice champagne, pretty much. Uh, what else do we got? That donut looks so good. We got some croissants. We got uh, kombucha in itself is just disgusting, so no. Uh, pumpkin spice oatmeal sounds pretty okay. What else do we got here? Um, Bailey's and Kahlua. Uh, those are gross anyway. Uh, those, that's good. The Pepperidge that Farm so pumpkin good. spice swirl. That next toast. thing looks so good too. What is that? I think that's peanut brittle. Uh, yeah, seed oh. brittle. Uh, pumpkin uh, spice cake. Oh my Pumpkin God. spice coconut milk? That sounds so good. No, it does not. It does. It does not. That Get out of town. Good. Get that out of town. Good. Oh good. my God, you're disgusting. Boom chicka pop pumpkin spice kettle corn? Uh-uh. Yeah, moonshine? Pumpkin spice moonshine? That actually That's sounds kind of weird, but kind of cool. <laughs> uh, Dunkin' Donuts. Oh, here you go, just for you. Uh, Steak and Shake, Blizzard. 
Jello shop mix, pumpkin pie pop tarts. That one tastes good. Yeah, that actually sounds pretty good. So I think that that rounds it up. That kind of sounds good too. Yeah, salsa, pumpkin spice salsa. So I guess there's some winners and losers. I don't know though. I think I think I'm gonna pass on pumpkin spice everything this year. It sounds like it would just be kind of troublesome. Uh, but yeah, what is your favorite part about Halloween? Speaking of pumpkin spice, my other than favorite part spice. is doing cool makeup cool makeup okay yeah, what have you like, done for cool makeup i did candy school like candy? What yeah is, what is candy school I'm, I'm a little unaware like the like the bejeweled candy school like you know have you ever seen coco ah, 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 ah. <coughs> i'm inhaling gas have you, ever, have you ever seen coco they have like the candy school oh like, yeah like the yeah. like the day of the dead I, kind of yeah, stuff yeah day of the dead kind of stuff it's really word. cool and i don't know it looks really pretty and I think you look really pretty. This year I wanted to do Corpse Bride. I even picked out the dress. I was going to design it. Then do it. Not so I had an exam the day after that I have to study for. You can go out for an hour. Just, I mean, these kids these days don't even go out it's at all. It's going to take me like five hours to do my whole body blue. In okay. my face. Uh, I guess you got a good point there. And drop bones. So you, you're, you're more of the kind of design. Oh yeah, I love design it. Design aspect I love dressing up, of Halloween. As you can tell. Well, I'll tell you something, little man. My favorite part about Halloween is it's not going to Halloween. <laughs> I mean, it's a holiday, so you can't really go to it, but I'll cry. My favorite part about Halloween is going out. Just what we were talking about earlier, doing stuff. I like to do stuff in Halloween. I like to go out, I like to have fun with friends. I haven't done it in a few years because of work. They always make me work on Halloween for some reason. But you know what? I gotta say, I love to go out. In fact, you gotta you gotta listen to this. Me and my friend Ryan, back in eighth grade, right? Mm -hmm. One day, we decided to go in those you know those drainage tunnels by the fields. Oh hey! No no no! Hear me out! Hear me out! No freaking it crap! No 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 no! Hear me out! Hear me out! This is before I'd ever seen it, so I didn't even think of it, right? Uh, I would have been terrified you go, if I knew. You know how you go into the retention fields, and then there's that hole where the street drains into the yeah. field? You can crawl through that if it's big enough. Oh, heck no. And guess what you can do? You what? can stand up completely straight, right where the grate is, where the, um, the water drains from the street. Just like it. And like I said, I've never seen it before. Until I thought it would be, uh -huh. yeah, until like, you know, I think it was actually a year ago or so yeah, when I saw the original It, the original kind of 80s scary, style. Scary, spooky scary skeletons. Scary, spooky skeletons, yeah. <laughs> but we were going to go in there Halloween night. We already cleared out all the spider webs that have, you know, accumulated over the, the years that no one's been in there. But we were going to go in. And when people walk by trick-or-treating, we were going to oh, no. put our arms up the sewage past shit? the street and be like, bleh, and grab their the car. No, 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 no. Oh, this part, drains okay. into the retention field, so you wouldn't get ran over. But you'd, like, put your hand over and, like, scare the hell out of them. That would have been so cool, but I think I moved. I don't know what happened, but we never got to do that. I had a freaking zombie chase me once. Really? Yeah, I was scared. You she was a big-ass no, rocket. My mom <laughs> was driving the car, or the truck, yeah. around, and there was this guy... Because we were outside and he was following us because he was trying to scare us, you know? And we got inside the car and he was literally like... Really? I was like, no! That sounds really fun. I might be interested in doing that this year. That was when I was like... I kind of want to try the retention thing now. No, 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 no. But no. you know what? I feel like You're people have already watched the newest It, so they're already kind of on edge they're from paranoid. that kind of prank. Yeah, they're probably going to step on your hand. Honestly, I would I would not blame them if they stepped on my hand. I wouldn't either. <laughs> I would do it. I would like, step ah, on my ah. own hand. I would step on everybody's this thing hand. not fit me. But, um... Uh, I mean, that's pretty much it for Halloween, right? I mean, how, how many more days we got? What's 31 minus 8? Quick math. I think it's 7... No. 17. 17. No, it's not. Holy Jesus. That's it's not, 19! It's not 19 either. We're so, <laughs> so bad. We're so... <laughs> hold on, hold on. I know what it is. I it's took 20, 23. And I suck at this. 23. It is 23. Because then, you know... Are you sure? 23 plus 7 carry the 1. It's 23. I don't know... We're in college. We don't know basic algebra. We only yeah, know advanced 23. algebra. It is 23. 23 days. That's a little over three weeks. 
Yeah. Maybe I'll do some kind of video um, of me and Caden's shenanigans when we go out trick or treating as a grown ass man. <laughs> But uh, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the podcast. No, it was a quick one. I don't want to keep you guys waiting uh, too long for our coolest podcast ever, the Halloween edition. So, um, you know what? I think we're going to go ahead and catch you guys on the flip side. Adios, buddies. Okay.